What's up, guys? You're listening to Loser Lubot 69 here. Yeah. And you're probably thinking right now, what the fuck are you doing, big boy? You are in Counter Strike Sauce. We want fucking Counter Strike Go. You know what I'm saying? Counter Strike Go? Well, I'll have a very good explanation for this. But before I go into this explanation, I'm going to tell you why I'm playing Counter-Strike Source and why I will be playing Counter-Strike Source for the next couple of episodes, unless something super mega major happens in Counter-Strike Go. So, uh, what's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all the game types that aren't your default game types in, um, in, um, Counter-Strike, so, and for Counter-Strike Go, they've got Gun Game now, and they've got Demolition, which are two new game types, which are pretty good, and I will be covering Gun Game on Counter-Strike Source, and how it is different from on Counter-Strike Go later, but I won't do it straight away, because the third episode of this series, the one before this one, what is covering Arms Race or Gun Game, so I'm not, I won't cover that straight away again, but, um, so this one's Death Run. The next one I'm going to cover is B-Hop, and uh, after B-Hop I'll do Surf, and then I'll go into Gun Game, and then Jailbreak afterwards. Jailbreak's a bit of a special one, because you have to listen to all the players to understand it all, and I probably won't have any commentary over that, so that could be next episode, or it could be the last one. I'm going to do it when there's the least amount of news possible to put in as such. So, yeah, that's why I'm on Counter-Strike Source, but there's a re- and there's, another, there's another reason why I'm playing Counter-Strike Source, because on Counter-Strike Go, they've, they've currently, not sure if it's permanent, but they have currently ditched the server, the server system where, you know, you go find servers click on the server you want to play, they play certain game types and everything. Well, I've ditched that. And, um, well, they've got ranked max matchmaking. So, you you know, you choose the game type you want to play, and then they have to go find a lobby to put you in. And usually you, well, at the moment in the beta, I tried playing arms race online, right? I was put in an online lobby by myself with all these bots, and... After about two games, another person joined. That was it. You know. I want to play on these. Like on, um, on Counter-Strike Source, you get, you get these death, death, uh, deathmatch games on, um, D Dust 2 with 64 players in it. And it's fun. You know. Having 60, 32 players on each team, all with orps. Standing at one end to the other, and then you got these people's people with sniper rifles and shotguns rushing you. It's so fun, and it's going because of this matchmaking system. The Valve, if you watch this video, which I highly doubt, but if you do, you got to bring, you got to make sure servers are in Counter Strike Go. Otherwise, it's it's not going to be worth it, and I won't play it. It's as simple as that. But, um, no, Counter-Strike Go still is a good, it's, everything's amazing except for this matchmaking system, taking out the server system. I'll, I, it's alright on Xbox, I don't mind matchmaking on Xbox, but on PC, it is, matchmaking is the worst thing you can have. It's just terrible. They've got to have servers, they have to have servers. Um... So, right, I'm going to talk to you about Death Run now, since you're watching some Death Run gameplay. So, as you can see here, it's trans transitioning over to myself being a terrorist. Now, the aim of being a terrorist is you have to press the traps by pressing E, or whatever your button is to use an item. Because you can change your stuff, your controls on Counter-Strike, to whatever you like. It's how unique and amazing this game is. But, uh, you can't see my amazing hand signal here. I'm just going, Gambi style. Ha oh, ha. Counter-Strike. An amazing game. But, um, yeah. 
So the aim of the ter terrorist is to kill off all the counter terrorists. So you get a maximum of three terrorists on your team, or you can, and there's as many counter terrorists as you can get. And so all the counter terrorists have to run through like sitting ducks. All they've got is knives. They haven't got guns or anything, and they've got to run through all these traps without dying. And when you get to the, when they get to the end, as you'll see here, they get to kill the terrorist. You know, bit of pretty good reward. You know. Um. So yeah, you get all these traps. You press the button, activate the traps. And there's different traps. Like there's gas traps. There's wind traps. There's this one here. You'll see. Uh, you, they jump in front of it. I press the button, activates these fans, and the fans push them out onto the bit where they die. Um, yeah, it's it's really good. And yeah, if you have Counter Strike Source, I'm really recommending finding a Death Run server because Death Run is fun. Go terror, uh, go counter terrorists. Don't rush the traps. Just watch. And see how all the traps work, and you'll slowly learn the game. And you know, it's it's a real it's a really fun game type. And there's a um this is kind of linking into uh into next week's episode as well. But um, a strategy that a lot of counter terrorists use is b hopping. Now what what they do with b hopping is they strafe jump. And they all do all this strafe jumping to get gain a lot of speed, and then they go really fast, and they just rush through all the traps, and the terrorists can't keep up with them. And there's me getting killed. But uh, yeah, they rush through all the traps. Terrorists can't catch up to them, so they get to the end without having to go through all the traps. So you know, bee hopping can be a really useful skill in playing when playing Death Run. But, um, yeah, that's what you need to do to be skilled. And as you see here, I'm just being lazy, pressing the button, killing two counter terrorists right there. Um, but yeah, next episode, we are going to play B Hop. We'll be on a B Hop server. I'll tell you what B Hop is and the basics on how to B Hop. I'm not that good myself. I, I learnt a about a month ago, how to do it, and I'm still not very good. It takes a lot of practice. Um, that's about all I have to say. Uh, there's not much else to it. You got 30 seconds left of this amazing video. Hope you're enjoying it because next week, B Hop, get keen. Not much more for me to say. I'm about to own these two guys. He dies. I accidentally pressed that trap there. Jordan is a slippery gypsy. Uh, here we go. Kill the guy on this trap. Spoil sport. Gas him. Spinning around. Do my little thing. Again, Jordan is a slippery gypsy. Good night.